Hi, my name is Layla Hayes and I am your Houston Family Friendly Relocation Realtor. And today I want to answer part of one of the top two questions that I get as a realtor that helps people move to Houston. One of the questions is what area of Houston should I move to? But the other one is, should I move to Houston? There are lots of things to consider when you are thinking about moving to a new city. Jobs, houses, schools, neighborhoods. Is there anything fun to do? Can you afford to go out to restaurants? How much is childcare? Are there income taxes, state income taxes? What's the sales tax? So many different financial considerations and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So if you Google the cost of living in Houston, Texas, the bottom line is that Houston's cost of living is 8% lower than the national average. Woo, okay, <laughs> move to Houston. All right, so 8% less than the national average. So what does that really mean? When we're talking about cost of living, the, there are some basic things and there, there are some things that are in what would be the true cost of living. Of course, there's housing, child care, the basics of food, gas, insurance, all that kind of thing. But there's more to consider than that when you're looking at moving to Houston or to any other area. So everything I'm going to share with you today is based on the city of Houston, Texas. There is a lot more to Houston when people say Houston. Houston is an enormous metropolitan area with over 10,000, that's right, 10,000 square miles. So that's why today I'm going to narrow it down just to the city of Houston. And in future videos, we'll talk about areas outside of Houston, the many suburbs that you have to choose from in Houston, and the pros and cons of each one of those. There are some other things to consider though. In a lot of areas of Houston, when you add everything together, the total sales tax rate can be as much as 8.25%. So that can add up very quickly. So just something to keep in mind. Another thing to consider is property taxes. This goes to the entire state of Texas. According to taxease.com, the average property tax rate in the state of Texas is 1.8%. It is the seventh highest in the country. And I know you're thinking, well, I thought you said the cost of living was less. The property tax rate varies by county. So 1.8% is the average. But to give you a real world example, the property taxes on my home are 2.8239% depending on how the county values my home from year to year, my taxes are going to vary. So for example, let's say you take the value of my home without any exemptions. In the state of Texas, there are exemptions that will reduce the taxable value of your home, but that's a question to ask a tax professional or search on the county website for Harris County or Montgomery County. Now I'm in Montgomery County with no exemptions based on the value of my home, my property taxes would be about $5,700. So you may be thinking, wow, $5,700 in property taxes sounds like a lot. And it does sound like a lot, but there is one thing to keep in mind when you look at property taxes in the state of Texas. Texas has no state income tax. So a lot of that income that would have come from income taxes for the state actually comes from property taxes. But here's the thing, no state income tax can have a major benefit depending on your income and the sources of your income. So let's look at how the no state income tax compared with having the higher property tax values is going to affect the cost of living in Texas and in the Houston area. In some states, the state income tax rate can be as high as 10.75%, depending on the state and your income. Most states are in that four to 5% range. Again, this all depends on your income. Let's say we have a family in Colorado whose total income is $100,000. The state income tax rate in Colorado is 4.55%. So with an income of $100,000, you're looking at state income taxes of $4,550.
Now, if somebody lives in a home like mine, then $5,700 in property taxes, it balances out pretty close within $1,000 or so. This is all gonna vary by your income as well as the value of the house and any kind of exemptions that you may have. So ultimately, when you look at property taxes versus the state income tax, it ends up pretty much being a wash. However, if you do have a higher income, then having no state income tax and the higher property taxes can still benefit you to where you're coming out ahead versus a state with lower property taxes but higher state income taxes. I am not a tax professional. All of this is information that I have researched. However, for anything regarding your own particular situation, please contact your tax professional or an attorney. So we've talked about property taxes, income taxes, the overarching what is the cost to live in Houston. So let's break it down based on what CNBC.com says about what it takes to be comfortable in Houston, Texas. CNBC.com says that in order to be comfortable in Houston, Texas, you would need an income of $74,718 per year. Now, they've used a lot of different numbers in there, but the key ones are they used a housing number of about $1,000 and a child care of about $1,000. So if you have one child, uh, one baby in child care in the Houston area, you are looking at about $1,000 a month. Housing of about $1,000 a month, that's going to vary depending on if you're renting, what size of the property, the house, what size of the house. So let's use some more realistic numbers, especially if you're a family relocating into the Houston area. The average home price in Houston is about $226,000. So I'm gonna calculate a mortgage payment based on 20% down and 3.5% interest rate. I'm also gonna estimate the taxes based on some averages, and I'm gonna estimate the homeowner's insurance. Now, all of these are just general numbers to give you some ideas. So when I put all of that together, we have a monthly housing cost. This does not include utilities or anything like that. Just for a mortgage and taxes and insurance, you're looking at $1,331 a month. So that is gonna be a little bit higher than this particular estimate that says, to be comfortable, you need about $74,000. So all of those are just numbers. Now you have a basic idea of the cost of living in Houston, Texas, about $74,000 to be comfortable according to CNBC.com. So here's some other considerations whenever you are living in Houston that you may not have in other areas of the country. Just things to keep in mind. So when you're making your monthly budget in Houston, just take into account that in the summer months, those electric bills can be a lot higher than you may be used to, especially if you're coming from a Northern state. You're also gonna to want to consider your commuting costs. So if you're looking at commuting, there are some extra things that you'll want to take into account. If you're going to be using public transportation, you do want to take into account the cost of that, of course. Also in Houston, there are several major toll roads that can make getting around the city much, much easier and a lot less stress-free. So you'll want to take that into account whenever you're figuring out your budget for commuting. In Houston, you can get a toll tag, which is just a little chip that's gonna allow you to cruise through the toll plazas without having to stop, especially if you are commuting in some of the northern areas of Houston. There's a brand new toll road, it's called the Grand Parkway, that can be a little bit pricey, but it cuts down your time getting from one area to the other, sometimes in half. So you'll definitely want to have a toll tag to take advantage of some of those time-saving routes especially when traffic may be bad in other areas. When you're budgeting to move to Houston, you also want to be sure to get an accurate insurance estimate. Depending on which area of Houston you choose, your insurance may be higher or lower depending on any damage that the area may have had due to hurricanes or other weather events. You'll also want to consider whether, you, whether or not you choose to have flood insurance as there are some people in the Houston area that do choose to have flood insurance even though they are not required to. If you're commuting in Houston, you'll want to budget also for an increased amount of gas that you're going to use in your car. It's not just going to be a matter of driving there and back. You'll also want to take into account a little bit the cost that you may have while you're idling sitting in traffic. 
So just over the first month or so that you're commuting back and forth, just keep a real close eye on your commuting and your gas costs so that you can take that into account in your budget. What does it cost to live in Houston, Texas? The short answer is it depends. Click the link in the description to get your copy of Budgeting for Living in Houston, a guide to figuring out how Houston and its costs can fit into your family's budget. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like or a comment and subscribe to my channel for more Houston area real estate and relocation videos published every Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. Central Time. Talk to you next time.